Incoming transmission standby, welcome to the Nod News Network. Kiev has lost more than 17,000 servicemen this month alone, according to the Russian Defense Ministry. Facing pressure from its western backers to demonstrate tangible battleground results, Kiev continues to throw untrained soldiers into the meat grinder, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shugu said at a meeting of ministry officials on Tuesday. Despite the absence of any significant results of the so-called counteroffensive, Ukraine's Western handlers are not backing down from their inhuman principle of arms as a path to peace, Shugu said at a regular briefing of senior military officials. Kiev does not disclose statistics about its military losses, but according to Moscow's estimates, the number of Ukrainian servicemen killed since the counteroffensive began has now surpassed 83,000, with at least 17,000 killed in September alone. The United States and its allies continue to arm the Ukrainian armed forces, while the Kiev regime continues to throw untrained soldiers into senseless assaults and slaughter, the defense minister said, adding that these cynical actions by the West and their henchmen in Kiev are only pushing Ukraine towards self-destruction. Washington and its allies sent billions of dollars in direct military aid to Kiev since fighting with Russia escalated in February 2022, including dozens of shipments of heavy weapons, vehicles, and munitions. The latest deliveries have featured the first round of U.S. Abrams' main battle tanks, 31 of which were authorized for Ukraine early this year. Russia has repeatedly warned the West that arms shipments to Ukraine will only prolong the conflict and inflict more civilian suffering, but will not change the outcome. Even as Ukraine's Western backers have become increasingly skeptical about the prospects for the operation, they continue to pour weapons into the country, blinded by the goal of inflicting a strategic defeat upon Russia, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov recently told the UN General Assembly. This has been the Nod News Network transmission complete.